Hello and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. Hope you're all having a great day. Ah, we are back. We're back here after completing in the last episode our paint factory on our processor planet. Or what is going to be our processor planet. So here we are. There's our starting base just in the background here. And we're just getting some more research, which is lovely, fantastic. Um, but the whole point of this planet will be to just mine out everything and export the stone. Uh, probably export a little bit of silicon. Uh, but also, to uh, we're going to be um, turning this planet into a massive processor factory. And so we've gotten a good start with that with the paint factory. Uh, so basically... The multiplier, what are they called still? I keep forgetting. Um, it's it's um, spray coaters, yep, yep, we know that. Um, maybe it's in here. The, the proliferators, that's right. Oh, I'm out of fuel. Good thing I brought came prepared with a lot of graphite. That is something we need. We need a better fuel source. That doesn't look stable, but okay. Right, so today we're going to continue on building up this factory. Now we're going to need a few things for this as well. Um, so when we're building our factories, now we, we want a location first, and I'm thinking this little... Uh, oh, actually, there's a big clear area here. I'm not sure if it's worth running all the belts out that way. Kind of want to make it now rather than waiting for um, planetary sort of things. Actually, speaking of planetary sort of things, let's go check out our research. Pl planetary logistics systems, which we are researching now. Ironically, we need processes for it. <laughs> um, but that could, yeah, we need, also need titanium, which we don't have and can't get just yet. And well, we can if we go to a different, uh, different planet. Um, so the question is, do I set up the massive factory now? Or uh, do I just go ahead and set up you know, our first factory, so to speak? I don't know. What do you think? If you're listening in at the moment, drop in chat. Uh, but I think, I think I already have the answer, to be honest. So maybe that was just a redundant question. How many have we got? We've got four, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, and six. I think being six being the optimum here. I'm pretty sure if I do that, and then something along the lines of this, and then we want one, two, three, I'm pretty sure we do something like that. And that can get us our, yeah, no, no, I've done it wrong, done it wrong. Uh, it's probably easy just to put these in the middle. Do that instead. Why not? And then we want to run this out like so. Planetary logistics, excellent. And another belt type. We are getting up there. Our research is far ahead of our capabilities, unfortunately. Now you're going to be making iron, and I might as well fill you up to begin with. And it's going to be like that. Oh, no, like that. There we are. And then out like this, then rotate. And we can't quite do it because we need to do this and then this. Uh, so we'll set your production type and then run it out like that. And we have our first iron plate belt. Yes, it's all coming together. And we'll run these like that. And then we can also run a separate one. It's down the bottom here. 
and then duplicate the whole thing, all right? Uh, so we do this, and then if we go into blueprint mode, so we'll go cut and take this, uh, use an owl, divided by tropic lines, all right, well, maybe not so close then, but that'd still be, that'll still be functional. And do this. Um, like that. We want power, 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 power. I'm going to put a splitter, not because we actually need the splitter, but because I want them uh, it taking... Oh, wait, no, hang on. Yeah, I've done that wrong. We still put the splitter. We're going to put it here instead. So it's kind of coming evenly from the different uh, belts as much as possible. It also means I can split it off if I need iron for something else. Beautiful. All right, we have got an iron belt all set up and working in record time. Uh, the next thing we want to do is we want some silicon. So we're going to do a very similar sort of thing. Now I do have a blueprint, so row R8. Uh, can I use it? How do I use it again? Um, no, a uh, copy. Maybe. No, do I need to go into some blueprint mode? Yeah. Double click to use. All right. Now, if I run this, should be everything I. Need. Need. Okay, and we're just going to put in this little guy and we'll start belting things up. Uh, like that, and then like that, and out like this. You can probably take that off. I like this. Uh, we'll go back to to here, and then can we maybe maybe do this? Yep, there we are. Fan bloody tastic. Turn you into silicon, just run you out like that. Turn you into silicon. And we've got silicon being processed. Rather than using up all our stone back at our main place, and we've got an output line up the top here. Now, the next thing I want to have happen here is I want to paint everything coming out, right? So I don't want to forget to paint things. 
So I'm going to do it at the base output line. Q. Uh, now we can queue up some more research too, if we can. We've got anything that we just require. Yep, there we are. Ray receivers are the main storyline or main quest. There's no real story apart from you're a robot and you need to make spheres. Uh, yeah, okay, so nothing else apart from ray receiver than this. I think I've already got all the personal arc upgrades I can do, but we'll just double check. Small cell life, nope. Medical destruction, nope. Nope, 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 and nope. Alright, we've hit our research limit. So the next thing on research we need to do is to create structure matrices. And that's going to take diamonds, which we can already make. And it's also going to take titanium crystal, which will, of course, require titanium as well as organic crystals. Now, organic crystals will require plastic. Pl plastic will require a lot of graphite and petroleum and so on and so forth. So we've got a whole chain there that we'll need to do back at our main uh, planet. But I'd still do want processes because I want to be able to construct these guys. And also t pink dumbbells? No, so we'll need... Uh, we're going to need so much. It's so much to set up. So electromagnetic magnetic turbines is going to be really necessary soon. There's, there's just lots that's necessary. So I'm probably a little bit earlier, early on this side of things. But I do know that I'm going to need silicon for something. Silicon was going to be very important in production of solar panels, but what else is it? Yeah, the production of accumulators as well. So I really want accumulators because that will help with my power demands on other planets. So that's why I'm spending so much time on my silicon planet at the moment, where arguably you could say that I should actually be... Um, at my forge world. Okay, but in the meantime, I'll stop talking, less talking, more doing. Uh, we want a spray coater here. I'm gonna run this belt down here. Be a long, kind of parallel. I will try and keep things neat. I won't guarantee success, but I will try. And then we'll run it along the top here. So we hit our next output down here. And we'll drop down our next painter. Man, we are chewing through that graphite. Alright, so that will paint our output of iron and silicon. And then the next thing that we want to do is we're going to put down is probably a copper smelter as well. So what we might do is go back to our blueprint here. Alright. Double click on it again. Just see if we can rotate that. That way we can get a copper line. Now coming out the bottom there. Which just mean I'll run it down further along here to go up again. Yep, that'll work. Alright, we're going to go with a splitter here. Do this. Do 
this. That will get our copper coming in. I think we can burn silicon as well, can we? No. Oh well. There we are, that's producing copper. I'm gonna put some power down. run you along like this and then up and then we'll put down our proliferator around here we can attach this belt like so and bloody tastic again now you need to be copper, I'll just copy you down, and you also need to be copper, and we just copy you down. Alright, now we have the three main ingredients for processes. We've got three very full belts of things. And so the next thing that we want to do is start building out our actual factory, right? So we have a bars and what we need next is to make these, I'm going to need microcrystalline components. And I'm going to need circuit boards, All right? So circuit boards take two iron bars and one copper every one second. It's going to produce two circuit boards. Uh, and I'm going to need two of those every three seconds. Right. And then it's also going to need two microcrystalline components. That's going to take two uh, silicon and one copper every two seconds to produce one. So I think that's a I need two of them every three seconds. So if we make it four of them every six seconds, right? And then I can produce three every six seconds. So it's a bit over one to produce one of these, I think. I think I've got that right. Someone tell me if my math is wrong, please. Now, let's say we want a production of how many? Let's say we produce one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's start off with nine for now and we'll see how we go. So these are all going to be processes. Uh, now to produce these nine, I'm going to need what? Nine times two. So 18 every three seconds. And I can produce, so produce 18 every three seconds. I only need three, really? That seems too low. That definitely seems too low. But we'll see. 
All right, so we're going to put our first row here. I'm just going to test to see if I've got my math right here. Uh, so there we go. So three of those are going to produce nine. No, six a second, right? So we've got six a second. I only need so times that by three. We've got eighteen a second. And I have nine of these. So nine times two is 18 every three seconds. Yeah, that, that I, I think that checks out. And unless I've gotten something horribly wrong, I think that checks out. It's a distinct possibility. I have got something horribly wrong here as well, people. And maybe my thing is that I'm just going to need a lot more of these that I realize at the moment. But we'll just put down belts and we'll have everything come in from the left and then output to the right. Do do do, just a walking robot, or walking down the street. Uh, I also want this expandable, so I'm going to make it seem like it's I'm making everything too far apart, but there is a reason for it. Now I'm going to want the copper to split off around here, so I'll put a splitter there, and I just put the wrong kind of splitter. I want to get rid of you, and I want to use the tab button. You kind of do like that. Yep. That way I can run up here. This can continue to run along. But we can do this. So it goes up to here and then goes down. Now, that's bad placement. Because <laughs> my. Oh, actually, it's probably not going to matter. Yeah, because I've got fast enough sorters. So run my iron up along here as well. And the deal will be is we go like that and then like that. Right. That's everything it needs, I'm pretty sure. Yep. All right, so that's that part done and then we'll continue to run that across then slightly further up so about here we're going to put our microcrystalline components okay so the recipe here is every two seconds i'm going to need two silicon and one copper right um so for this, now I want to produce for my processes, right? I have, I want to produce times nine. So nine times two, we've got 18 every three seconds that I need to produce. Right, and at the moment, every two seconds I can produce one. Eighteen every three seconds. So that's six a second that we want to bring it down to, I think. So if that's the case, then I'm going to need 12 of these. Yeah, something something is off of my math, either with the green boards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But 
but we're going to find out very soon if my math is wrong. Alright, we just do this. Again, it would have been better to have the copper coming on the inside, but oh well. It doesn't matter. Alright, now we're going to run the components that we're putting out all the way along here. Now the reason why we're going so far is because I think I'm going to want some of these um, to be expandable. So when we come back, and I think we are going to have to come back because just for the logistics side of things, otherwise we'll have massive belts and I'll run out of belts. I'm going to, probably going to run out of belts anyway, man. Where's our... I think we want to split this at some point. Yeah, we do. I'm going to go like this, all right, and then grab one of these, tap it out, rotate, uh, actually, no, tap it out like that, maybe, I don't know anymore. Yeah, rotate like that, and then just do that. Have you go down, and then join up like that, and then you can go straight back up again. So that we're splitting off that, and that's going to go up there. Cool. All right. Um, and you can start running up. Can start. Oh, is that going to be too close? We'll start up there instead. That's fine. Hey, that's what we want. that and then that so we can proliferate the endpoints of these are we running out of power again man we're on a this is this thing is a power hog we are we definitely need some more upgrades to our mech or better power source Yep, we're still going to run out of belts. So in a second we're going to go do a top-up trip. Top everything up. How are we doing for power, luckily? Yeah, we're burning nothing. But really, we're not using much either. We'll go up to this far. And we we have microcrystalline components happen. Fan bloody tastic. Do this and then just get some power up there. We're gonna make sure we're spraying our outputs. 
get the most out of them. Takes more power, but it does make the whole thing uh, more resource efficient. How are you colliding with another object? Oh, because I've got a little like, belt there already. Yep, there we are. So, oh, do that. There we are. And just get it on its way there. Now, I have just run out of power for a start. <laughs> we have a lack of fuel. Oh, actually, that could be could be bad. I'm going to go straight for our carbon factories. Oh, no, not the core. Low battery. Blump. <laughs> That's what happens when you run out of power. You just get really, really slow. You can't fly anymore. Of course, you're doing that in space, and I don't think things are as forgiving. Now, we do have a charge up here next to our power plant. So we'll go take advantage of that. I'm going to go get some more belts. While we're waiting, we'll see what else we need. We need more miners. We've definitely used up a lot of those. Uh, possibly even more of these and more of these. Hmm. We have been busy. But I think maybe uh, trying to get us on the way to yellow science might be the best idea next. So that way that we can uh, get our interstellar logistics. So what we're really after is this thing, because it's not even just interstellar, it's intersolar system. And that's a really important step. Um, oh, what have, what's this? Can we get this? No. Ah, oh, this will stack things on top of each other. It'll pile things. Which is a new thing and kind of cool. Now, we also have ray receivers now. So ray receivers will take energy from the Dyson sphere and uh, pump it into your local power grid. So they're going to be really important uh, later on as well. Now we do have full power. Uh, we're going to go grab some belts, come back and finish our processing. Uh, where's our planet uh, in relation to us at the moment? They're quite close. We've called it Earth. Really could have called this Moon. <laughs> um, here we are. Off we go. Come on. Just press shift to break orbit. All right, where are we? Um, yeah, I want to be down, down here. Yeah, there's our blue, re blue research over there. So the higher into orbit you go, the better speed I think but of course you boost yeah you burn a lot of power here still not used to controls anymore sorry it's been a while ah uh, belts belts will be found over here and what do we need again to up upgrade those belts Pretty sure we need magnetic things, yeah. We need lots of these, lots of these, and therefore lots of these electromagnetic turbines. So I think my forge world is really where I want to build those, if at all possible, because it should have an absolute ton of iron and copper compared to my starting planet. That's the plan. 
Uh, do I need anything else from here? I might need a few more sorters. Let's just grab it. Just, oh, no, no, I really didn't put them back. Uh, we are going to want to go find some titanium to mine as well, though. So maybe I will keep them. After all, why shouldn't I keep it? Ha ha ha. Sorry, just having a Bilbo moment, moment there. Uh, and we'll grab belts, because let's face it, we used up a ton of those. Now, uh, I think I want to build belt version 2 soon. So I'll just restrict that down a little bit. Yeah, power poles, always useful. Uh, how do we make those other power poles? Are they hard? Uh, basically need... these things. I do want to make some of them. just don't need heaps of them. Uh, delete, delete, there we are. Erase the litter. Cool. Um, now, if I do go to the lava planet, I'm going to need power. Whoa, what's happening here? Let's just get in nowhere, not enough silicon. That is not surprising. That's part of the reason why I went to the Silicon Planet, is because I knew we were going to need a heap of those. Um, yeah, so if we're going to make a trip into uh, an inter another interplanetary trip, I got there in the end. I was able to say it in the end. We're probably going to want a heap more power to set up elsewhere. We're definitely going to want more manufacturing machines. Might as well take full loads of them. Um, I will want more miners. A hundred or so miners. More smelters. Alright, that probably stand us in good stead. Uh, actually, we'll probably want power. Grab a couple more just in case. All right, cool. I'm happy with that. Let's head off to our moon. Uh, now, there's this handy little indicator here that will point you in the right direction uh, to help you fly. Oh, I mean, I could have just looked up, right? <laughs> Um, now we want to go into orbit, because I want to know where to sit. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're nearly there. There we are. Ah, no! Come back! <laughs> we, we pounced off the planet and its atmosphere somehow. Oh, uh, very low on power too, yeah. Okay, so we can keep running these belts down. Oh. Pooks, you noob. Did that wrong. There we go. Deal would be like this. Then 
I'm going to run it back in this direction, I think. Now, this is not the be-all or an end-all of our processing factory by any means. I'm going to need much, much more than this. And the other thing I'm going to do is just go like this. I want power. Thank you. I'll speed things up. Now, occasionally you can fit these guys in the middle here, which is really nice. Power me up, Scotty. I'm also pretty sure that we can do a couple of these and make a like a recharge station here. Yeah, look at it go. Give me all your power. Helps a lot. Uh, okay. We'll do that. I'll run this back down because we're going to want a proliferator at the end. I finally remembered what they're called. Uh, maybe slightly more. And I think our know, interstellar hub will go here when we get it. Um, but we might as well put that on the end here. And for the time being, I'm going to put it in a box. <laughs> so whenever we need processes, we can come here and grab it from the box. Uh, that will mean, though, if we want that proliferator to be doing anything, we need another belt running up. Go, my dronies. Hurrah! We're producing our first processors. Uh, they were all powered up, I think. Yep, brilliant. Uh, I can probably just dump these in here. Ah, so that was something I was curious to know about, whether or not powered up uh, processors would go in there or not. So let's just stick around and see if I've got this right, because I'm not sh certain that I have. The full belts coming out, but there is a backlog, so I want to wait for that to clear. Now, the other thing I haven't actually contended with here is that because of the proliferators, these all produce extras, and these ones will produce extras. So because they're going to produce extra, it means that I've maybe built too many down here my demand and I can actually expand those out straight away and that's kind of what it's looking like I mean we're getting through the backlog but this one has yet to really uh, push out anything very occasionally it gets to run in the meantime we definitely have backlogs on these I don't think that's run yet that's working So it's very occasionally popping something out as well. I 
has a max of 10, I think, or 11. Yeah, something like that. 11 if it's proliferator, yeah. Or... Right, yeah, so I'm inclined to think... Oh, we're going to have so many of these so quickly. How come that's only a one thing? It's a little bit weird. Um, I am inclined to think, though... Maybe it decays after a while. Okay. I think we might as well go for massive storage here. Uh, yeah, so we can probably build a few more of them, two, three. Let's just see what happens. Sort of may not even keep up. Actually, I think I want it to be like that, and then you can output when you need to. All right, we're starting to see some gaps now. That's that's what we want to see. These things struggling to keep up. How many did I add? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I add another three, so it's probably a little bit unreasonable thinking it's going to keep up from there. Now, what is happening here is that we don't actually have enough silicon to run everything. So silicon seems to be our... Our issue. And we do have a full belt of it. But the problem is that our belts aren't fast enough to produce it in sufficient quantities. So yeah, we've definitely hit our ceiling here. And that's fine. It's all about upgraded belts at the moment. Or additional belts as well. So I could split this up, put in different belts, and just make them all run smoothly from the slow ones. But yeah, I don't think that's really going to get us anywhere. And yeah, we do have like 100 silicon just kind of kicking around here as well. I might well just top up my reserves a little bit here and drop you. I can't just do that. Why not? Why not, I say? I'll drop it on the belt then. There you go. And uh, the other thing I might do here is just drop you in the output. Really? Again, why not? I swear you used to be able to do that. Maybe I'm wrong. Come on. Take my circuit boards. There we are. All right, we have processors, hurrah, on our processing planet, or processor planet. So much more to do here, but for the time being, I'm going to take 200 processors just in case I need them, and we will go from there and just let this do its thing. Uh, now, from here, we're going to head to our Forge World. Now, fortunately, our Forge World is close by, so this is good timing. Um, and we can start flying off there. I'm hitting Shift to speed myself up. Excellent. And we'll just 
leave myself with a little bit of energy. And the reason for that is because if I go bouncing off, then I want to be able to adjust. And I need course adjustments as we go in, because currently uh, I'm not, I wasn't necessarily heading for a directly intersecting orbit. Orbital mechanics is real. Gravity has no sympathy for your problems. All right, so we want to slow down a little bit. There is a graceful way to do that without just slamming into the face of the planet. But slamming is fun, so. Um, all right, our poles are up here. Now our poles should be where we get most power from. But what we're here for is titanium to begin with, right? So specifically where we want to be able to make titanium and crystals, to do that we're going to need plastic, uh, organic, sorry, plastic and organic crystals. Now to make plastic we have everything we need, we've got oil for that. Uh, to make organic crystals we're just going to need some water and stuff like that, so we can do this. Uh, we can do this no problem with the technology and materials that we have. We just want to go find where we're going to go mine out our first things. Now currently I'm just kind of chilling here. I know I'm going to have to come back to this planet multiple times, so going and setting up all my mines now at the moment I feel like would be a bit of a waste of time. Uh, we do have some coal on the planet, which is great because I can also use that for our spray painting. Our proliferation. Somehow spray painting makes it better. Uh, we also... Do we have that tech yet? That's a good question. Do we have the magma power? We do! Oh, I want to try it out. Can I make these things? I can't make the... Oh, yeah, I can make these things. Can I make one of them? No, I don't have enough copper and things. I just want to test it out. Uh, 2.4 megawatt. So, using magma as an energy source. Combine multiple consecutive low energy photons into one high energy photon and input energy into the grate where it's stably. The power generation is directly related to concentration of magma. As material, if the item is pr sprayed, so it does it need low energy photons to do stuff? Or a photon combiner? I'm confused there. I don't know if it needs something to run or not. I mean, it's certainly going to put out a heap of power, which would be nice. Oh well, we don't have it, and we can't make it, so that's that. But what we do have is a whole heap of titanium right here waiting for us. So we're going to put down some mines. Now, I think the ideal is six. No, it's covered. Yep. Excellent. Uh, drop down some power sources. Should power everything. Yep. Uh, once we have power online, of course. Now, if I look at my poles, yeah, I'm roughly at the equator at the moment. Um, so we're just going to go with a good old blueprint option here. And we'll bring everything in around that point.
I feel like this is really good music for a magna planet. I like that they've paid attention to those details. We've got more of a kind of industrial sort of future-ish sound going on. You guys are going to make titanium for me. Uh, now we can't proliferate on this planet, so I will prolifer proliferate off planet until I've got that set up. And we'll grab this. Now eventually, I mean, that's going to be more than I can put in my inventory, really. Uh, two. Output. Alright, just lacking power supply at the moment. Big empty space here, fortunately. Seventy percent strength. So, if we look at this planet, we can see the details about power here. So we get seventy percent ratio for our wind turbines. So they're not as as effective, but we do get one hundred thirty-seven percent ratio on our solar panel, which is why I brought a heap of those along with me. Now that's gotten our uh, foundry set up basically kicking along nicely. There should be sufficient power for everything to be working at the moment. Beautiful. So really that's all we need to have happening at the moment. But I brought all this gear with me and I kind of want to use some of it so I'm not lugging it back uh, to my other planet. And I know that I'm going to have to set up other things when I come back here. And just having a consistent power supply set up straight away would be absolutely lovely. So we are going to do just that and start running up towards the polar regions where we can put down power plants or solar power plants with a bit of confidence that they're going to generate a fairly consistent power income. Fantastical. All right, here we are. And we're just going to use the minus, no, it's the plus, plus keys to do stuff with intervals, basically.
All right, we'll put down all our sour plants. So solar plants, not sour plants. They're uh, they're happy with their lives, I promise. Yeah, so they're wonderful, powerful producers, but they can be a bit sour about it. Ungrateful buggers. Okay. We've got plenty of power here now. That's a good thing. We could chuck in some more wind turbines, and I'm in, oh, yeah, I am inclined to do it just because I've got them, right? I might as well put them somewhere, and that somewhere might as well be here. I'll yoink them down. Now, because this is going to be a forge world as well, I really don't want to put it in places where I'm going to actually build a lot of factories either. So we've just got to be careful. The polar regions are usually good because they're not great places to set up factories, mainly because when you do put them there, then it's just a little bit awkward on the spacing and everything like that. It gets a bit strange just because of the, the grid sort of layout of the game where you're laying everything in between different tropics, etc. So polar regions are my favorite for power production for that reason. Just because you're not gonna really be using it for anything else. I'm a just going to keep this area here as clear as possible because I'm going to want some mines at some point. That should be plenty. Probably not going to build anything here, so that's a good spot. All right, we've used a heap, uh, and I might also put down a powering station down here. So that way I know that if I run out of power and need to get back home, I can always go to the pole to find power. Okay, now we want said power, uh, or we want the fruits of our labor here, not power. Uh, we want the titanium that this has been busily producing for us. And we can basically fill up our inventory, I think, here. We're very close to it. Just wait a few extra seconds. Because we're going to want it all. So we can automate the shipping of it. And that will be a happy, happy day. Okay, so we're going to go back to the solar system. And we're going to go back, oh, we're on opposite sides of the sun, so this is going to be a bit of a flight. No longer in the optimum position, but we'll set an indicator for it. Uh, filled up on graphite, yep. So I can't just end up flying into space forever. Probably leave it there and let myself charge a bit. We're just chilling. Now we probably want to 
course adjust slightly. Keep up with the orbit of the gas giant. And that's how you do a smooth entrance and you can actually settle into orbit if you want to there. But that's fine. I don't want to do that. We're going to go make something new here back on our home planet. Uh, we've got a hold full of um, titanium. There we are. I had to think really hard there and it, you know, I could... Feel my brain fizzing a bit trying to do that much work but we got there uh but yeah so we're going to be producing yellow science next so our yellow science production buildings are going to be here and here uh, i have decided so we'll put those down and that actually will free up some space in our inventory for that we're going to need diamonds and we're going to need titanium crystals so we have a whole heap of titanium in our inventory and we're just going to yoink that into a box for now. We will remove this box later on. Um, control shift, yeah, there we are. And so to do this, I'm going to need a few things. First, I'm going to need diamonds. Diamonds we know how to produce already. That's kind of almost boring by this stage. But the other thing that we're going to need is these organic crystals. So for this we're going to need oil and water or petroleum water but we're also going to need plastic. Uh, plastic is going to take graphite or carbon, uh, energetic graphite, yeah that's it, uh, as well as oil. So we already have a source of oil, you know our tanks are actually full I think from the looks of things. Uh, we're out of hydrogen, but that's no surprise given that uh, this would have clogged up, basically. Now, to do this, uh, we've got a few options. We could just go straight to mining coal, produce some graphite, etc. But I also know that later on, I'm going to need tons and tons of hydrogen. And that's where our oil refineries are going to come in here. And we're going to do some oil cracking, or x-ray cracking, which we have already researched. And that's going to need to produce things on a bit of a loop. I believe. Drop in you like that. You're going to be x-ray cracking things. So we just copy you down. Now for our cracking recipe. Later on we're going to use hydrogen for deuterium fractionation by the way. Uh, it's going to output a lot more hydrogen. But to run it needs some input of hydrogen as well, as well as oil. But more importantly, it's also going to output a heap of um, graphite. Uh, so I almost think that I've gotten this completely wrong to begin with. Do I? What are we going to be putting in? We're going to be inputting this, outputting, and this, and we'll be outputting this and this. Yeah, so I don't have it wrong. 
I just need to be clever about my belt setup. So the first input that we're going to need is going to be petroleum. And the second input we're going to need is going to be hydrogen. We get a little bit of hydrogen from these guys over here. So even just running this will have made me some hydrogen, right? We can see some coming down the, the line. And I might even just try and snag that. Because I'm going to need some startup hydrogen to make this run. It's going to produce more hydrogen. And that more hydrogen will then be used to produce more hydrogen and so on and so forth. Uh, so we're going to have a belt running in like this, Oop. and then it's going to need to go off to the side. That's the that's the main reason why you tend to build crosswise. Yeah, this is uh, this is probably not going to work very well. Uh, yeah, we'll do something different here. We will do something different here. Um, we'll run it along like this instead. What will it collide with? Do I need to change my intervals? No. Nope. That works. All right. Cool. Maybe I missed a belt. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm going to want more of them. More! Uh, while I'm up here as well, I can go up and grab some plastic factories. Uh, so we'll grab another 30 of those. And we'll grab uh, maybe 60 of those. This is why you set up your mole, so you're not st stuck creating these things forever. I think that'll be fine. Not counting my inputs, obviously, I'm just thinking that looks like lots. <laughs> Alright, uh, we'll run it down, run it up, along. And then along like this. Okay. Now the, th the second thing that we we'll want to run in here is our petroleum. I'm going to do that. And run it along much like the same. And then finally we're going to need an export line of graphite. Now the thing is that our hydrogen line, we're actually going to take a little bit further. We're going to wrap it around our building out the front here, and then run it back down again. To about here. Then we're going to put in a splitter. Now this splitter is going to have a preference, basically. So there'll be two lines that it can run here. One is going to be the output where we, we go use it for something. Uh, output priority is here. Now you're going to be doing x-ray cracking. So, or maybe I have stuffed this up. Maybe I have. Because I need an output as well. <sighs> A 
basic theory is sound. Oh, no. So instead, what I think I need to do is take these. Uh, we'll still have your output line like that. We're going to change the intervals. So it's groups of two. Yes. That's all coming back to me. Um, no, it hasn't come back to me. I've still stuffed that up. <laughs> Ah, it's all right. We will get there. We're just a little slow today, people. <laughs> uh, we'll hit the plus button. Increase our intervals. No, I want you in groups of two, but I want a space of two as well. Can we do that? Can we do that? No. Ah, uh, okay. One, two. No, I didn't need to do that. Damn it! Okay. Last chance here. Last chance where I need to go have a nap or something. I don't know. Get some brain energy back up. We can get away with this. There is a reason why we can get away with this. Because I only need the input petroleum as inputs, right? So that way I can just go split, split. Oops. Like this. And what we do with that is like this. You're going to be different. that right so that should allow me to go input input oh crap you you'll, you'll get nothing no t no petroleum for you I cannot wait to blueprint this thing. That would just make things so much easier. Just go blam.
your priority should be this way. So I'm not sure why you've outputted any there. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I connect it up. Alright, X-ray cracking. Um, I'm going to use the rater then. Yeah. Hurrah! Now the final thing to do is to add in these ones. And you're going to be hydrogen, and you're going to be graphite. Hydrogen, graphite, hydrogen, graphite. And I will explain what I'm doing here in a little second. Okay, so what I've done is create basically what should be an infinite loop of hydrogen. Uh, so this thing is going to keep on looping around, and this hydrogen is going to keep... Oh, I need inputs for hydrogen too. <laughs> I've nearly done it, I swear. Oh man, it's going to keep looping around, and so it'll keep... Uh, inputting hydrogen and outputting hydrogen and it'll feed itself and because it consumes a little bit less hydrogen than it produces what it means is that each loop it's creating more hydrogen and eventually it's going to have be uh, I guess producing more hydrogen than it's consuming and so the loop will become full and well, when the loop becomes full, it'll start backing itself up on this roundabout uh, here. And that means that its only place to go is going to be out the side here, into our where we want to use hydrogen, essentially. Uh, so it's a good way of essentially turning all this petroleum into graphite, uh, but also turning it into uh, hydrogen, which is really useful later on you start using hydrogen for a bunch of things um, and if nothing else you can always burn it for power it's you know not as great for power but you can do that too uh, so that's the point of setting this up whereas i could probably have just gone for you know straight to yellow science a little bit quicker basically i'm i'm doing this to create massive hydrogen dumps you know we want a lot of hydrogen storage and that's why I'm putting these ones in place now. So we'll do like this and then into storage from here. Because I can't use it straight away, but I will use it eventually. And you can see this is preferencing out the side. And I've done that by saying, hey, this port is our priority here, not this one. 
once it backs up, it will start doing its thing. Now, to get this running, all I need left is power. Let's make sure I get everything, hopefully, with these. Ah, I've missed one. Damn it. Shorter power links. Yeah. Not like I'm short on them, so no real need to be stingy with them. Okay, fantastic. That's running. And it should uh, also start producing the graphite that we need. Uh, now this graphite is going to be fed into a system just to the north of this. Uh, that is north, right? Blue is north. We're calling blue north. It may not be. I don't know. Uh, but that's why we picked up all these chemical plants. So these chemical plants are going to be used in the production of plastic. Because we're going to need a ton of plastic for these. So particularly if to run one, we're going to need two every sec six seconds. And we produce one every three seconds. So one to one ratio. Maybe these ratios have changed a bit. Because I swear it used to be a bit more intensive. But that's okay. That's okay if it is. I'm all good with that because it means less plastic factories <laughs> that I have to produce here. All right, so from here, um, we're going to get one every six seconds. Now, for yellow science, uh, we need those titanium crystals, and to produce those titanium crystals, we're going to need one every four seconds. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> This is, this is where math comes in, and I hate it. <laughs> but we can't produce many. So if we make 12 of those, that will be 2 a second, which will now enable us to be... Will it be 2 a second? Hang on. 12 of those, 1 every 6 seconds, 2 a second. Yep. So we'll go for 12. And I'll work out the math later on on how many of these we can produce. I think, hang on, hang on, three? Would it only be three? Because one every four seconds, so times by... We're making... Hang on, how many are we making? Oh god, I'm losing my mind. We are making... We make 12 of them. We're making two a second, right? So that enables four of these? No, eight of these. I can make eight, right, with two a second. Wow, that, that was a lot harder than it should have been. <laughs> I swear, man, I'm getting slower as I get older. Anyway, so we need chemical plants to pull this off. And so it's a one-to-one -one relationship for our plastic production. Uh, so we're going to want one, two, three, four, five, six. And what I might do here... Yep, thanks. Made them a long time ago, but actually, but... Uh, is run everything down the middle. All right, so... Going to have input of two, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, two things input and one thing output. So I'm going to take you, go one, two, three, and we'll just run you down like that. And there's our 12. Now the next thing that we're producing, of course, is going to be. Uh, need three inputs and one output. Now I think three is a maximum stretch for any of these plants. So that means we're going to need something along the outside to carry things away probably. Yep, that would work for me. So what we might do is just make this into a bit of blueprint because it is going to be a fairly standard... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that's not what we want. We're going to make you the output here. 
yeah, we don't want a blueprint because we're going to need a different type of blueprint, really. So one, two, three, four, five, six again. Then one, two, three, and then do the same thing again. Okay, so you're my plastic. You're also my plastic. And then you're my organic crystals. Uh, so the thing we're going to need, we're going to need some water pumps. For that, we're going to need a few materials. Uh, just fill up on this. Uh, what did you need again? Petroleum. So we'll need to run, keep running our petroleum line up, uh, which means another splitter. Um, yeah, that's not the one I want. Because we're going to bump you up a level. And the other thing that I could do as well... the petroleum and then you're going to split off at this point you're going to run up here I'm not sure if I'm going to need you to split off or not but we might as well put it in place Right, so petroleum can split off this direction. What was the other thing we needed? Graphene. Ah, brilliant. So that's the only thing we're going to be using you for. I don't think I'll use... I could use for diamond production too. Right? I don't know. Uh, are we going to make enough? The problem with this stuff is, though, that often one of the lines gets clogged up, so I'm, I prefer to try and exhaust it as much as possible. So yeah, I think we will use you for diamond production. Uh, we'll do a tabby thing. Like so. Split you in here, and then one go off this direction. Up to here, and then join down. Yep. And the other one can go off this direction. And you can go make some diamonds over here, or up here or something, because we'll need it for yellow sites. Alright, so that gives us everything we need for plastic. And all we need to do is do the sorter Jenga, as I like to call it. Because right, we're going to need an output line, you'll need an input, you'll need an input, and that means your input is like that. Now, to save on confusion, I'm going to run that down. And we just start filling up our power, like so. And now we have plastic production. Uh, now your th final input was water, so that's fine. Uh, water can actually come from over here, uh, but yeah, we needed parts to do that, right? Now we need electronic components. Again, I'm not making water of things into a mole thing yet. Maybe later. I get really 
into just doing whole planets at a time sort of thing and just want the parts to be there but for the time being I don't think it's really necessary uh, I think I want a heap of those eight is going to be more than enough While we're waiting for that water to build, uh, we will run down our petroleum this way. Actually, if we're a little bit smarter about that, that we'd run it down this way. that might make this my main water mine position because we will need it for hydraulic acid later on too So we'll just set it up and put a splitter at the end. Down some power poles. Go there. And voila, we have water production more than we need. But I'm trying to design everything so it's more than I need. Now our output, these aren't going to come out very fast. I might just run it up here. Run you up here. And you can kind of do a step up and then down again. Really, that'll be a collide. Excellent. And then like that. Yep. Cool. Um, here, burn some petrol. <laughs> See if that works a bit better. What is that? Um, 4.5 megajoules. Yeah, it actually is uh, a bit better, but of course it's not going to last all that long. Um, Alright, so you're going to need one of these, therefore you go to here. You need one of these. You're going to need one of these. Therefore you're like this and you're like this. Right, and then your output can be below and your output can be top. And then we take that and we run the same pattern. Uh, why is there a conflict? Let's just eliminate everything that's potentially conflicting. Oh, maybe it's not far enough, yeah. There we are. Cool. Uh, try that again, beautiful. And then we just need power poles. I think everything is powered. I'm not seeing any flashy lights. And we have organic crystals being created. Yay! Fantastic. Now, so from here, 
Uh, what did we need? We needed titanium and organic crystals to make our titanium crystals. And we also needed diamond production. So, and that's going to be fed into these to make everything we need. Now, how many diamonds do we need? Uh, one every eight seconds. And from graphite, we can make one every four seconds. So this is a two to one ratio. Um, so let's think our towers are going to at least pluck up one more. I'm thinking we run our graph out up here. And we've got what? One, two, three, four. I'd only need four at the moment. But we'll over compensate for future growth. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Grab this guy. Make sure he's going up. Do this. Back down to here. And then this will be our output line here. Turn you into diamond. For all of you. I actually should have just set this up first. Oh, have I maybe checked? Oh, no, no. There is a way. There we go. Thought I might have snookered myself there. Right, so that gives us our diamond production. Uh, put one of these here, one of these here. And then I can run diamonds down like this to where we need them. Now the output line for our yellow science, I'm just gonna make it very simple. Go like this, across to our research facilities. And then we're going to have a box ready to intercept. Oh, hang on, we need, yes, we need multipliers. We need multipliers, proliferators, those things. Um, yep, so we'll put that there. And maybe we... Chuck our box there. Should be able to do that. And then output. Brilliant. Um, then we're going to need a line bringing that in. Currently it's running up there. Also want a proliferation, proliferation line over here. And I know that I'm going to be putting in... Oh, that's the other thing I haven't done. I haven't done proliferation on my plastic or... That would make more sense to do that as well. Um, so I was thinking about putting a splitter for this over here. And I think that is actually going to be the best idea. So that is what we're going to do. Like so. And then just a couple of ones down. And then like that. So one up right. You can just go straight into that one. And then this one can split off. And then uh, find its own path, go on its own adventure, that's right. And I know straight away I'm going to run it into another one. So hopefully that's allowed. Oop, 
Come on. Let me do it. Let me do it. Oh, no. That would just been so much simpler. I'll have to space that, but we'll do it like that instead. So I can just do something like, like, no. What are you doing? Oh, we're going to do that. There we are. There we go. Much better. Much better. Alright, so that gives proliferators there for our diamonds. Um, we will proliferate both our oil and plastic. I feel like we should put our oil a little bit sooner maybe or something. At least in the plastic line. And then for this to work, I will need it doing my water as well. Prolific water, if you would have thought. But I need all the raw materials to be doing its thing. Uh, what are we missing? We're not getting enough graphite out. So maybe I need a supplemental line in here. Maybe I do need to mine for graphite. Or maybe I just need better belts to make this run a little bit more efficiently because it should be outputting everything. Like it's clogged up, but it just doesn't have the ability to output very efficiently at the moment. Uh, mainly because this is not producing much. So it's only outputting when this is putting something new in. And that only happens when we're burning petroleum. I do something along those lines. Now, this will be my preferred output on the left. But otherwise, it can shoot up here. And that can be a second point of flogging it. Just to keep it running and burning petroleum. Whew. That was a that was a big thinking process. My brain's fried now.
We are making the spaghetti. We are making that spaghetti. Uh, we don't want spaghetti like that. And up. Wow. It's like this guy didn't plan things. You're thinking to yourself. No, no, he did not. Ah. <laughs> Case in point here. If you need further evidence, look, look no further. Hey. Hey, says the Fonz. We're making a factory. Hurrah! Now, of course, we want our output to be proliferated as well. So many things to pro pro proliferate, so little time. So we'll drop that there. And I'm wondering when... When is a belt too long? Hmm... When, oh, when, oh, when. Now, the main reason I'm proliferating that water is not because I really want proliferated water, but because you need everything to be proliferated for it to actually have an effect on the production. Which I think is no fun. I think you should at least get a partial effect or something. But where I've got, you know, more complicated com th things coming in, like plastic... Uh, and I want it to be utilized, then that's where I, I just have to bite the bullet and make it happen. Uh, we will drop some power there, we'll drop some power here. It's like power Santa. All right, so that should proliferate everything for us now. Uh, I will need power up here for my diamonds too. Actually, for the research centers themselves, too. I should not forget about that. This is, after all, the point. And we can put in these guys here like this. Do that because these things are expensive. Of course, not enough power. Okay, we're close, people. We are very close. Uh, next up in our production chain is we need to make use of that big hole of titanium that I brought back. And we need to make use of these organic crystals to produce things. Now, we made 12 of these, right? So we've got 12 a second. The titanium component is almost immaterial, right? Because it's going to be brought in from off-world. There's going to be plenty of it. We're going to take that assumption that we will have plenty of titanium. Uh, hydrogen fuel rod, rods is the other thing that I want to produce here. Because uh, that will be a nice step up uh, from the, you know, burning the graphite and the oil like I've been doing. <laughs> Uh, so we will control shift this, grab everything, grab it out of storage now that I need the, my inventory space so much. Um, and then, yeah, so we need one every four seconds. All right. Now we're producing these one every six seconds. So... thinking this or rather two a second two a second is where we got to from memory everyone's probably screaming at the screen you worked this out before man we remembered it for you two a second so for us to consume two a second we need to times by 
four for one a second, eight. Eight is what we, we can build. That sounds familiar. So that's going to be our assumption here, that I have gotten that right, and that this is not about to be a massive stuff up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can fit it. I was thinking double double rows, but then yeah. All right. Uh, so you're going to need to go up, and then you're going to need to go down, like so. Uh, we will bring in somehow our titanium from up this direction later on, but for the time being it's just going to be a simple line like this. We are going to put a proliferator on that titanium, we want to maximise our output here and maximise our use of titanium. We're going to put a box here and we'll drop our titanium into that uh, as well as an outputter. Oh wait, no, I've done that too soon. Quick, 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 done. Ah. Um, yeah, and stop that thing. Stop that thing. Uh, we want to set up our proliferation first. to run along like this. So that we're not just using the Mark 1 variety. And I was a fool there. There we go. Drop that titanium back in where it belongs. Now we can add the sorter to do that. Yoink, you, you're going to make titanium crystals, buddy. Congratulations, very important job. Titanium crystals for science. Uh, now, before I do that again and waste a little bit of time, we're going to run this down like so. Run it out like this. And there we go. Uh, now we'll work out our sorter system here, so we'll go like this. Now at the end, it's going to be inputting this, so like this and this, I think. And we'll just yoink all of that, like that. Grab some power poles, start powering this baby up. Ha <sighs> ha! Yeah, it's very hungry for titanium. We can't keep up with it, actually. So let's just increase our output boxes. Like, yeah, fill up that line. And that will start the first of our yellow science. Uh, we want, want some outputs for these, too. We'll put them out there. We've made structure matrix on eight hours into the game, right? Ah, so there are timers on everything. Maybe you could speed run this at some point. I'm sure someone will do it. It probably won't be me. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm really a speed runner type. I want to proliferate my carbon as well, I think. So, sort of. So then you're going to be down and then up again. And then we'll get the, grab the proliferate, proliferate, yep, yes, we can't speak. 
Are we having severe trouble? Oh, 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 hang on. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm clicking the wrong one. Yeah, it just can't output it fast enough. Actually, I think I've just all I've done is create a giant loop. Yeah. So I still need that to interrupt things. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> For that to happen, basically we need more carbon coming in. All right, it turns out we need to use a coal vein. There's one over here. Uh, so we'll use that as a supplement to this, uh, this rung maybe. Do, do, do. You. Then you like that. They're just longer power poles than normal Tesla ones. Got plenty of miners on me, fortunately. Uh, I will need to make this land okay. some hydrogen too. Um, what do you want production wise? Just gonna do a quick one like that. Like that. Ah, damn it, not what I wanted. That's all right, I'll just do this instead. I'll make you graphite, no. There you go. Go. I've got an output of graphite happening. What I might do is just run it along here because I don't want it to prevent the production of graphite by this stuff by clogging it up. So it's going to be like a supplemental source. 
Now, the reason this is still going to be okay is because these things will start chewing up uh, petroleum. And by chewing up petroleum, it's going to allow those other oil refineries down here to run. And with them running, it's going to produce uh, more hydrogen, and that's going to interrupt the flow of hydrogen from the other output thing. And that's the other thing I want to do. My other idea here clearly wasn't working. So we'll get rid of it. coming there we are okay here it comes coming in proliferating splitting off from here excellent make fantastic diamonds over here and make some plastic start consuming some petrol yes exactly what we want Beautiful. It's starting to do some, its thing, producing some plastic that's getting proliferated. Coming up here, using our non proliferated water apparently. It's slowly working its way down. Coming into our crystal factories. These are bubbling away, starting to produce crystals. These crystals are backed up, largely because we ran out of titanium. <laughs> ah, the irony. Okay, but we have the first start of our yellow science. We do need to make some runs and fill, fill this up with titanium, All right? On the plus side, we're starting to do that as well. Now, let's go to research. Let's talk research. Interstellar logistics system is our big goal here. That's our Kraken to make things a lot more automated between going between systems, right? Uh, or between planets. So this is our goal. To get it, we need high strength titanium alloy to be researched, so that's going to be our first one. And then our second one is going to be go for that. So that's all we need to do. We apparently have a lack of research items, and it's partially because I, well, it's solely because I haven't done this yet. I would start pulling them in. There we go. Research has begun again. Fantastic. Ah, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Now, once we've done that, let's talk the next research thing. Uh, ultimately, I think what we want to then go for is again some either some personal upgrades or this thing because this thing just looks awesome. I, I can see myself using that all the time, just to immediately improve our belts, no matter what. So that'll be fun. We'll go for that. Um, and then let's look at other things. So make our drones a little bit faster, carry more, veins utilization yeah, would be a good thing, you know, extra mining speed as well as ore consumption on minor products. So it just makes our veins last longer. 
So we'll queue that up straight away because that's always a good thing to have. I think um, it means that you know our resources are going to last longer. We're going to go for the Mecha Core, get some more energy in here. Uh, we're going to get some more capacity. Once we've got that core, we should be able to go for the uh, fuel power. So we'll consume things faster to get more fuel. Uh, we could go for speed. Uh, I'm also thinking speed on land though could be useful. And our queue is now full. All right. Now to get all these shiny, shiny things, what we do need to do is get some fuel because we're low. Um, is go fill up on some uh, some stuff. <laughs> Highly scientific. I keep coming back here. Where's where's my dump box? Ah, there's my dump box. And you have crystals. Ha. Huh. <laughs> Infinite Factory, we're using a Terra Jewel. Dump these in here. Actually, they can go into proper sorting locations. And these other things are going to keep on me because I might dump them at the other planet. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Um, so you can have your things back. You can have your things back. You can have your things back. And everything else will dump up the other side and fill up on titanium. Excellent, which means we will need the interplanetary map and point our direction for us. We've got full power, so let's go. We'll avoid the planetary cap, uh, sorry, the grav gravitational capture. I will say it eventually, of that gas giant, um, I can't, there we are, <laughs> that was somewhat inconvenient. Now, the next thing that we're going to need to do is actually build those things. So we'll need to be able to produce these, so for that we're going to need processes, which we've already got a heap done, we're going to need steel, sorry I'm just going to Repoint. And we're going to need pink dumbbells. So pink dumbbells are going to need motors and graphene. For that, we need acid. For the acid, we need stone, water, and petroleum. So even more chemical setups. So there's a fair bit involved in building those things. And just to make it worse, we're going to automate it. All right, we're going to make it into a mall creation sort of thing. So that by itself is almost a stream by itself. All right, we've got plenty of this though. Uh, so we'll just sit a box in next to it to drop off our other stuff. And we're just gonna go like this. Yep, you can all stay here. Thank you very much for your service. We will come again, because we'll probably need you in this place. Ah, it's a full full box, that's useful. Uh, and we'll fill up here, we'll grab the next lot. So we've got a double box. Oh, I might need my boxes. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. You can stay here. Actually, we'll, we'll do you there and then take it back. Good. All right. Nicely sorted. Actual practical things. Dump box. Uh, so we need a point back to our to Earth. Oh, no, I've zoomed out far too far. Um. 
point the indicator. Thank you very much. Uh, do I have enough to get escape velocity? That's a good question. So I might go to my pole uh, to charge up a little bit. Give me the power, please. Yeah, but I do think that these buildings should be able you know, that to me, planetary logistics systems makes me think. I know it's not interplanetary. <sighs> anyway, I think it should be a little bit easier to get those maybe one or two trips, not like lots. We have very goods across. It's a little bit annoying, to be honest. I do, we still do have the yellow research going, coming along. Pardon me. So while I am going to dump most of this into the box for research, we are going to create another box that is going to be for more manufacturing purposes until we start importing it to Earth. Uh, come on, speed us up. Otherwise, we'll never catch the planet. And crap. Oh, there. Nice, nice. Isn't that a lovely thing rather than going. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, so we landed quite close by. And we'll just fill you up. There you go. Uh, we'll drop the storage for this here. Do that. Okay. Uh, so we're going to think this one through here. What do we need to do? Our ultimate goal, we're going to need to produce those. We're also going to need to produce what's coming up in a second. Uh, we are going to need to produce some of these as well. So we need processes. We're going to need steel. We've got steel. We are going to need these things. Because that's going to be necessary to produce these. Uh, so electromagnetic turbines. We're going to need a factory to start producing some of those. My main factory for it is not going to be on this planet. But we are going to need to produce at least some of them to get this thing. Now this is a fairly uh, involved recipe, so we need to make a whole heap of uh, magnetic coils, we need to make a whole heap of motors, which have three components um, to produce these, and then we're going to need to ship them off to you know, start producing our, uh, not the thrusters, yeah, reinforced thrusters we need it for, for these guys that you, you end up using so many of these and if we need any super magnetic rings which i'm pretty sure we do uh, maybe for the pink dumbbells okay yep the pink dumbbells will consume a lot we're also going to need to start producing acid for the graphene but also for the titanium alloy we're going to consume steel into this so much so much going on So it's a whole production chain that we've got to do here. Now I have spread out, we've got, what's our buildable surface on this percent? 62%, so half of this is actually water. So we're going to take up some of that watery area. I think we might fill in the area to the north here. Still got good access to the ocean. Yeah. Ah, oh, I left all my things over there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. 
that's all right. We can we can go stock up the, on the things that we're going to need here. So we know that we're going to need a heap of these because we're going to go fill in an ocean. Um, we are going to need these eventually. I'm going to want some belts. Oh yeah, we need those magnetic, thing, magnetic things for belts for the next level of belts as well. So that makes sense to make those magnetic um, motors next. So have we got any places where I'm not already using most of the iron? I've got a little place up here. I'm going to need a chunk of iron uh, to produce magnets. I'm going to need some copper as well. We've got some iron here too. And we've got some copper further south of that. That could be a good location. Yeah, we'll fill in the sea here. Is a new idea. The adjusted idea. Uh, we'll need some power poles. Probably want some splitters. Yay, shopping. Uh, hey, we will want those. Uh, grab those. Grab a heap of them. Uh, boxes already got. Now to make those ones, I don't think I need anything more advanced than this. This is pretty much what I'm going to need. Probably a whole heap more belts, but they'll come. Surprise my initial veins are actually still lasting in any way, shape or form too. Okay. Uh, here's our two iron veins that we're looking at. Oh, we could use this bit of the sea instead. It's a little bit closer to the poles, but you know, rather than fill in the north, we can fill in the Oh, maybe that's what I was originally doing. I think I was saying doing this, but this would be mean less running about. Okay. So the most cost effective way is not to do large patches, but rather single patches, and that will just kind of fill in the sea this way. If you do large patches, then you end up using a lot of your foundations. But this way we only need to kind of dot the places. Maybe not as pretty. Or yeah. well, definitely not as pretty, but... Now I have automated piler, so that'll make my belts more efficient. Just think through here as well, how that would work. You'd need to almost combine two belts for it to to officially make things more efficient. We're just filling in the sea. It's uh, this game very. It's lovely graphics. Just skips over environmental catastrophes fairly easily. <laughs> you know, billions of sea creatures dead. No more fish in the sea. Like, yeah, that's fine. We'll just skip over that with pretty graphics. Not that I care, because I'm a robot, right? Uh, 
Okay. Now we're going to want iron. I'm going to want iron for magnets. I'm going to iron for iron bars. I'm going to try and edit my blueprint. Can I edit them? Not really. All right, magnets. Iron bars. Oh, you could almost blueprint that up the entire map doing that. Kind of cool. Oops, that's not where I want it connected to. There we are. And then output like that. I'm probably getting ratios wrong here as well, so I hope you'll forgive me for that. If I need more bars or if I need more magnets, I'm going to go find another source of iron rather than mess around with how my iron ore is outputting. Okay, we have the iron, we have the magnets. Um, that's where I'm tempted to use a calculator tool to work out how many I'm going to need of each stuff. But okay, so uh, I'm going to two every one second to produce these things. To produce these, I'm going to need one every two seconds. Uh, we need that copper source as well. And you need extra magnets as well. So 
So in reality, we're going to need the cogs and bars for this thing. One every two seconds. This will do one to every second like this. Uh. Yeah, let's uh, let's find a calculator for this one. I think. Um. All right. Uh, magnet. Oh, hang on. Where is it? Dyson. Dyson sphere. Program. Calculator. All right, so we're going to DysonCalculator.com, or Dyson-Calculator, so full kudos to them. Uh, if we're going to produ produce items, uh, and we're going to select, let's let's see how good this is or not. Electromagnetic turbines is what we're going to make. All right. Use to craft all these things. Yep, that's great, but can we... So many ads as well. I'm glad I've got the sound turned off, otherwise I might be hitting copyright problems. Um, uh, I want a production planner though. Yeah, production planner. Uh, we're gonna add an item. There we are, that's it. All right, to make one a second. There's a whole thing. Uh, now I want to change my assumptions here a little bit to. Can I, I just go to buildings that I'm going to need. Uh, options. Let's just assume the base assembler, the lowest level of belts. Tell me about smelters and that sort of thing. All right, we we basically want. Why would you make circuit boards? Oh no, that's all right. That's the buildings that we're going to need. Yep. So that's fine. I, I know how to make those buildings. I've got those buildings. Yeah, I'm not sure I like that production plan. Uh, but, all right, so what if I just make that up to two? Surely that's two a second. I hope that's two a second. A minute. All right, uh, hang on. So your your output is one every two seconds, so 30 a minute. If we want to make 30 a minute, please. I know, you're staring at the screen here. I should put, uh, I'll drag this over. You should be able to see this now. Yeah, fantastic. All right. Um, all right, so if we want to make 30 minutes, so just basically one thing outputting. It's telling me all the production chain stuff as well. Um, yeah, I don't want to know about that. Cool. It's just the base level sort of stuff. Okay. Um... Motors. 
Yeah, it's not telling me how many. I just want a simple, simple list. And it's giving me a network graph, all these things. I just need to know how many of each I'm going to need. People. Nine assembly machine. Right. But producing what? That's that's the thing. All right, we're going to need nine machines for each one that we're producing. At least we've learned that. Haven't learned much more. I think though that this might be a good place for me to pause, go get some food, have a bit of a break because uh, my brain is getting fried here. So we will leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you do enjoy my content, please drop me a follow. It really helps me out. I greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, if you're watching later on on YouTube, then why not drop me a like or a subscribe? Again, that would help me out a heap. My name is Pooks. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.